The man believed to be responsible for murdering these four Idaho college students is back before a judge. As Chris Wynn explains, today's court hearing tees up more critical legal moves as prosecutors build their case. In Moscow, Idaho, Brian Koberger, the man charged with killing four college students, was back in court Thursday morning. The hearing, mostly procedural, was considered an important step as prosecutors pushed toward a trial. One defense attorney watching the case says the circumstantial evidence, like Koberger's phone records, are a challenge for the state. He lived near this area. He went to school near this area just because he was in the vicinity. How long is the range for a cell phone to ping? So there's all of these different avenues to undercut some of that forensic evidence. Students are back on the University of Idaho campus this week after being away on winter break. Many believe that there's been an arrest, yet the lingering question, why did this happen? Koberker was going about his daily life. He was going to class. He was interacting with people. All of these statements are going to help investigators hone in on the big question, what is the motive? But the eventual answer may bring little consolation to the families still reeling from their loss. The father of victim Madison Mogan saying he couldn't get through the recently unsealed affidavit describing the crime scene. I broke down and I just, I just cried. I could only take so much of that and I just, uh, I, I cried. I still haven't read the rest of it. Koberger's probable cause hearing set for June 26, the judge ruling that he be held without bond until then. Chris Wynn, 10 News, working for you.